Welcome to Life as God Intended. Today, we're diving into one of the most frequently asked questions among Christians. What is God's will for my life? You've probably asked it. If you've ever struggled to make decisions, worried if you're missing out on God's purpose for your life, or felt paralyzed by uncertainty, then this video is for you. We'll explore what it means to make choices with the freedom God intended, aligning with His purpose without anxiety that often comes with decision-making. So stay tuned and let's discover together how to live a life of confidence knowing that God's will is not a mystery to solve, but a relationship to enjoy. I've entitled today's broadcast, Finding Freedom in God's Will, Making Decisions with Confidence. As we begin to consider this subject, we must shift our focus to begin to understand God's will. So let's start with that big question. What is God's will for my life? Many people look at God's will as something that's hidden or something that's outside of them, something to uncover. And this can often lead to a paralysis by analysis. We're afraid of making the wrong choice. So we make no choice at all. <laughs> but what if we're looking at this question the wrong way? The focus should be on God, not just on our own actions. When we ask, what is God's will? We're really asking, what is God doing? And how can I join him in it? Which leads us to the next thought. Joining in God's purpose and aligning with his will. God's will is not primarily about specific actions, but about his purpose in and through us. I want you to ponder that for a moment. Romans 12, 2 tells us that understanding God's will begins with a transformation of our minds, allowing God to renew our perspective so we can see how he wants to work in us. God's will is revealed to us through his life within us. And when we're in tune with Christ in us, decision-making becomes less about finding the perfect answer and more about expressing his character in all we do. What a beautiful thought. More importantly, what a beautiful reality. So how do we embrace freedom in our decisions? Well, the answer to that is making choices by faith. So let's address the big myth. God's will isn't a rigid, preset path, like so many people believe. God designed us with freedom and creativity, giving us the privilege of choice. In almost every area of life, God's will is about our freedom to make choices that align with His character. The real question becomes, how is Christ's character being expressed in my decision? When we make choices with faith, trusting His presence in us, we're participating in His will, no matter which path we choose. Think about that statement. When we make choices with faith, 
trusting his presence in us, we're participating in his will no matter which path we choose. This addresses overcoming indecision because it's faith in action. You see, indecision is actually a decision, a choice to stay stagnant. And this can often lead to miss opportunities or a lack of direction. We're reminded that a ship can't be steered unless it's moving. Faith calls us to step forward, to make decisions that trust in God's leading, even if we don't have all the answers up front. And most of the time, we won't. <laughs> Remember, when Christ is alive in us, even imperfect decisions can be used by God. Our faith response to God is to act with the freedom he's given us, knowing that his grace and character will meet us in each step we take. This is a practical discernment, making decisions without anxiety. We don't need to be obsessed over signs, impressions, or dreams to find God's will. Seeking endless signs can sometimes become a distraction from simply living out our faith. As A.W. Tozer wisely noted, God wants us to make intelligent choices with the wisdom he has given us, choices that bring him glory and reflect his life in us. So when faced with a decision, ask yourself, does this choice align with God's character? Does it allow Christ's love, patience, or kindness to shine through me? When you're surrendered to Christ, every choice made in faith becomes the right choice because his life is guiding your actions. In conclusion, God's will is simpler than we often make it. It's about enjoying the freedom to choose and live out the life he's given us, his own life. When we focus on expressing Christ's character, every choice we make in faith aligns with God's heart because faith is the receptivity of God's activity. So let's embrace this freedom, making decisions with joy and confidence, knowing we're experiencing life as God intended. Thank you for joining me today. And if you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to Life as God Intended for more insights on living in the fullness of God's will. And until next time, walk in the freedom and confidence that comes from a life aligned with Him.